Hello and welcome to another uh, video. Um, not that you can hear this, but I'd, this is kind of just optional for some more practice on how to do a side-by-side -side bar graph because you're going to have to do it. So if you watch the first one and you want to see another example on how to do it, um, this this is the one. So whenever you do a side-by-side -side bar graph, we need the conditional. We need the conditional distribution. We need the conditional the conditional distribution and I, I'm not even sure if I ever defined distribution you guys yet but a distribution is the it's like an outlook usually done in a kind of some kind of a graph or a picture of all outcomes of a variable in this case two variables okay so a distribution is usually like in percents like a bar graph of distribution stuff like that so we need the conditional distribution so we have two options you have the row you have the row percents or the column percents okay usually the question di dictates which one you do but if I ask you a side-by-side -side bar graph and you do it backwards, you're going to get total credit for it as long as what you did was correct. Okay? And it all depends on the who. The who. And for me, I always throw the who on the x-axis. So if I said the row, the row percent is the percent, percent of hand, handedness who play varsity sports okay the column in this case would be the percent of um, the people who play varsity sports who are right or left-handed okay so there's a big difference and in, in the who the who goes on the x-axis so as long as you could tell who, and this is always the who right here. Let me change the color. This is always the who, the percent of who you're interested, the percent of who you're interested. Okay, so let's do this would be my row percent. Let this one be my column percent. Okay, so <clears throat> let's look at this one. For my row percent, I'm interested in the... Um, the percentage of right-handers who play sports or the percentage of left-handers who play varsity sports so the x-axis of the people that I'm interested in is handedness that's the variable this variable has two outcomes the two outcomes are right and left you list those down there okay and this you could just put percent for now I looked in the book and Generally, you want to put something here, like percent of right and left handedness or the percent of uh, conditional, but just put percent for now. That's fine. Just make sure you label it, okay? And I'll go ahead and I'll do it a little differently here. I'll put 20%. Here, how about this? Well, I'm not going to do it as neat, but you guys have to do it real neat, okay? It's not like a practice what I preach thing but sorry it's hard to be neat on this pad that I'm writing on this digital pad okay so right-handedness okay so that has two outcomes and plays varsity sports has two outcomes so you have to do a key for you have to write the who's go on the bottom and you have to write a key for the other one okay so you can put this key anywhere you want and this is varsity okay so it's either a it's it's either a yes it's either a yes or it's a no you can't see that I need to pick some new colors it's either yes or a how about that it's a colorblind person for you how about that I think that's a little different okay it's either a yes or a no. With me? Messing up here. Well, not messing up, but going slow. Okay, yes. So, but you have to get a conditional distribution. Okay, you have to get a conditional distribution. So, I'm going to do the rows on the top and I'm going to do the columns on the bottoms. 
So these are the rows. These will be the columns. Row, column. You can tell independence from these two. Okay, so the row is going to be, um, I'm just going to do these really quick. Matter of fact, I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to wait for me. With the conditionals on here. If you're not sure how I got these conditionals, look at the last video and there, there. Okay, so this is the row one, so I'm doing the row. So here's right handed, and yes would be 70, 79.5. Okay, so 79.5. So this isn't going to be too pretty, but 79.5, and that's going to be for my yes. Okay, so what percentage of, um, see that's right and yes, what percentage of right-handers did not? So that's going to be the 20.5. 20.5, so that would be right here. All right, so now let's go to the, left, to the lefties. What percentage of um, the 160 lefties played varsity sports? What percentage of these lefties were yes? So this is this row, 80%. What percentage of these lefties did not play? 20%. Which is about the same as that. So if you look, they're both the same, so these are independent. Okay, so that would be the row. The column. The way I got this 87.3 is I did 880 divided by 108. The column percentage says, out of everybody that plays varsity, yes, what percentage of them are right-handers? Okay. All right. So now, now I got it switched up. So this is varsity. And the two categories for varsity are yes and no. Okay. So I'm saying out of everybody that's a yes, what percentage of them are right-handers? So this is going to be my handedness. These are my handedness. And my two categories are this would be yes and I'm sorry, not yes. This would be right handed. Okay. And the other handedness is left handed. Let's do circles for this. You guys can get creative if you want. Okay, hence the colored pencils. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and do this. What percentage of the people who played varsity sports were right-handed? Okay, so what percentage of the people who played varsity sports were right-handed? Well, that's this bottom one, 87. So that's a little higher than this other one. Okay, and you guys are going to be neat. Do them like 20, 40, 60, 80, you know, do it, do it a little better than me. Mine's kind of vague. Okay, what percentage of people who play varsity sports are left-handed? That would be uh, 12. What percentage of people who did not play, did not play, okay, so 250 people did not play varsity sports, and 227 of them were righties. So that is 88.3, which is about the same as that. And the last option is the lefties that didn't play sports. A little less than this. Okay, so both of these graphs are independents, but both of these would be correct, and they're both fine. Okay, you could actually do independence from there. If, if the yes for this and the yes for this are the same, then that implies they're probably independent. Okay? Same thing here. If the yes... You have a yes down here and a yes down here. If the percent of righties is the same for the yes here, is the same for the no here, then they're independent. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching.